has green in it. Oh, we're live. Hey, friends. Welcome to the Gardener's Workshop Live Shopping Show this week. It's your friend in flowers, Lisa Mason Ziegler, and so glad you have dropped in here with us. Um, and so, welcome to our St. Patrick's Day show where we're celebrating all things green, y'all. We And I can't believe how much green stuff there is, y'all. I'm always thinking, what are we going to talk about that's green? Oh, my goodness. We have a great show lined up. Um, Suzanne is going to be, do, eat, be doing easy flower arranging tips and tricks with our flower arranging supplies. I'll be doing a demonstration of soil blocking with our um, most popular, best-selling soil blocking tool, the three-quarter inch small blocker. And then we're going to be showcasing um, our favorite green herbs, vegetables, flowers, and foliage. Did you know that over 50% of what florists are buying and using is greenery, is what we also oftentimes call filler, right? Because it kind of like makes everything better. So we should all be growing more green. We're going to have a prize drawing for in-app viewers um, that are watching live. And then remember, at the end of the show, we'll be doing a live Q&A. And if you would like your question to be in the pool we pick from, just put in the comments at Lisa and then type your question and the girls will pick those up and put them together um, and then feed me a couple of those questions. So friends, we launched something new this week and I am so um, over the top. I don't remember if we've even talked about it here or not, but we launched the Gardener's Workshop Club and it is now available and open to join. And it's already got over 300 of your flower-loving friends in there, sharing their stories, telling their stories, sharing ideas, and just, it's all happening, y'all, this amazing community for flower farmers. It's kind of like one of the features inside there is a um, com um, communication, like a, um, a posting board. I'm trying to think of the right word. It's like Facebook. Um, but there's nobody tracking you, there's no ads, there's no sales stuff. You can have conversations directly, you can have group conversations, you can post pictures and videos, and super excited. Now, in addition to that, inside the club, for members only, um, are resources um, that I add every single month. I do a master class each month, and as an example, this month we actually just dropped today the master class Nurturing Seedlings to Thrive, part one and part two. Um, and they are coming online today. Then also every month I do a um, broadcast in there. It's an audio, it's kind of like a podcast. Um, and then we also have a live Q&A inside the club. To join, you can't join here on the at this app. Just go over to the website and it says right on the top bar, join Lisa's club um, and you can do it there. And we would love to have you become part of that inner circle, right? And so let's also, if you are at all interested in this, let's save the date for May 18th. I'll be doing um, an in-person workshop. Um, we start the day off with lectures at the end of the road. Then we walk down to my farm and do hands-on demos, tours. We'll do a Q&A, and then we all head up to the warehouse where, where I will do a final Q&A. So it is not open for registration yet, but you can get on the wait list. Again, over on our big website, thegardenersworkshop.com, you can literally just search um, Lisa, and on the search bar, and that'll take you right to it and get on the wait list because we can only have 35 seats, y'all. And we have a really long wait list already. But if you're on the wait list, the minute it goes live, and that is coming soon, um, that's how we will most likely fill that up. So we have a little bit of housekeeping. Please be sure to double check um, your account here inside the app to make sure there's no typos on your email and your phone number. It happens all the time, friends. We have a shipping issue or a question and there's something missing from out of it and we can't get you. So please check that. There's a reason we ask you to do that every single week. Remember that here inside the app only, seed only orders ship for free. That means if you only order seeds, you pay no shipping, friends. Um, and then if you buy products, doesn't matter how many you buy, 
We have a flat rate of $9.95 shipping, um, and that um, is for all 50 of the United States. Now, if you happen to kind of come across us here um, on your social media, Facebook or um, even Instagram, um, we are so glad that you've joined us here. Um, but what I want you to know is that you can get the app because inside the app, the experience is so great. To get it, you just head over to your phone's app store and search Gardner's Workshop. It'll come up. It's totally free. You download it. Um, and then you can come right back over here because in there you can build a favorites list. You can do replays of all the previous shows where um, a great hack on that is you can go back to in-season videos and bring up the replay, hit shop all. That'll bring up a ribbon of products. Everything I talked about in that show, you can scroll through those products get to the seeds, and you can hit it and start it there and actually see our harvest, see what it looks like, see when it came in, all of that kind of stuff. And then also, inside the app, folks love to have conversations. And they're talking amongst themselves and talking with the team, and we'd love for you to be a part of that. Now, also, we often sell out of items during the live show or before the special goes off um, on Sunday morning at 8 a.m., and Oftentimes, we are literally behind the scenes bringing more stock over from our big website. So, if you go to a product and it says out of stock, you might want to get on that wait list. All that means is that you'll get a little ding notification um, when it gets put back in stock if there is more available. And um, that way you can take advantage of whatever special or not miss out on it. Um, the other thing is, friends, we absolutely adore it when y'all post the sunflower emoji representing yourself as part of the TGW family, whether that means you are one of our online students of our schools or our workshops. We love it when people give us that big old shout out. And so friends, you know, I give away something every single week, right? I totally love doing that. And once again, because we've heard from y'all, this is everybody's favorite giveaway each week. I am giving away a $25 store credit. So, to enter, to be on that list to get pulled from, hit the buy button. You're not buying anything, y'all. Um, and that'll put you on the list that we pull from right at the end of the show. And you do have to be present to actually claim your prize at the end of the show. So, I will be given a $25 store credit um, to you or to somebody. And um, that means when you go to check out, you'll have a $25 credit. So, friends, guess what? The Cut Flower Handbook is back in stock. Um, I have never been quite as, as overwhelmed as I was with y'all's response to my book and my publisher too, by the way. They just can't even believe it. Um, we sold out, or they sold out, of the first printing of the book within two days of it being released. Um, and I bought the last 2,000, 1,000 of which are already gone, um, but we had it. We started with 1,000 a couple of days ago. So if you would like to order a signed copy from us, you can order it here inside the app now and on our website. Um, I would love to sign a book for you. And then in addition to that, we have the free resource that comes with um, the book when you buy it from us, The Flowers That Didn't Make the Handbook. And when you purchase the book, the link to that PDF download is in your email confirmation as well as, I don't think this book has a bookmark. We give you a bookmark with the book and there's also a QR code on there that you can actually um, scan and download. So the Cut Flower Handbook is now available um, and would love for you to get one. And so when this printing is done or sold out, then it's going to be April before we get more of them. So if you need a book, now is the time to actually strike for that. So, you know, we're all, as far as um, I'm concerned, we're always in cool flower season for learning and figuring out. Um, and so my book, Cool Flowers, which is all about how you grow cool season hardy annuals no matter where you are. This is like the deep dive on the concept, right? So this is $22.95. I would love to sign a copy of this for you also. And this comes with a video book study um, for our customers. So that is the Cool Flower, um, I always called it the Cool Flower Handbook. 
um, but the cool flower book. And then lastly, my book, Vegetables Love Flowers. Y'all, this also comes with a video book study, um, but this book is not about growing vegetables, y'all. This is about why and how flowers are benefited um, or benefit vegetables in the garden, and you do that by having a cutting garden in your veggie patch. So this book is really about a three-season um, cutting garden, and it also is about the way that I farm and garden, pesticide-free, why I did it, how I do it. It has plans, um, succession planting, so I would love to sign a copy of Vegetables Love Flowers for you. So Susie Q is gonna step in here, my sister, and we're gonna talk about how to make the most out of your flowers, whether from the garden or in the grocery store. Hey guys, happy St. Patrick's Day almost to you. Um, we're gonna do some talking and I'm gonna show you some flower arranging um, products that we have and how we make simple, easy work of where your flowers, flowers no matter where they come from. Um, now, if you get your flowers from the grocery store, most people aren't aware that when flowers get into this country, when they're not grown locally, they're shipped in a box, dry, never seen water. So they have to put them in something to reconstitute them when they get here. And um, we just happen to have something that we use, and it's called Quick Dip. And this is what we use for store-bought flowers and for garden flowers sometimes. Um, to restore them and let them drink and um, and be able to absorb the water that um, they usually do. Um, so the way we use the quick dip is this is, is this Cress Lisa? Yeah, that's Cerinthia. 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 This is Cerinthi, and these are old. They've been over in the vase for a week or so. And you can see they're a little yellowed. And they're supposed to droop a little bit, but I did quick dip some this morning, and they look a little bit better. You just, I just peeled off the yellow leaves, and I um, quick do. dipped them. They do look better. They look better. So they, it really does work, <clears throat> and the way you do it is we usually put a little bit in a little saucer or a little something you can put a top on and you can see we clearly marked what it is you want to make sure that this is kept out of the reach of anybody that shouldn't be having it and um, just clearly mark it and you simply just cut the end and I would cut if you can a good amount of the end off you can simply cut it then you quick dip it and take it out and then you just put it in water with flower food like you normally would and it really does help. It opens up those vessels and lets it drink the, uh, the water. So we remove all of the water from the water line. So no foliage goes in your water. Um, we use flower food. Flower food really does help flowers last longer, especially garden flowers and those retail flowers that can drink the water, they benefit from it. You replace and change the water as you need. Dirty water is the death of flowers. So if your water is not being changed or doesn't have flower food in it, it's actually killing your flowers. So the cleaner the water, the longer your babies are gonna last. So keep it away from direct sunlight. If you have a bouquet and it's in a window, no, that is not good. Put it somewhere where it is shaded from direct sunlight and just remove those spent flowers and faded foliage as you go on and recut the stems, new water, new flower food if you have it, and that'll just make your bouquet last and last and last. So today's deal of the day, since flower food is so important, we want everybody to take part. So it's 20% off of our flower food today, and we have two different types of flower food that we use. We actually have one in two different sizes. The first one I'm gonna talk about, which is needs to be used a lot this time of year, this is the bulb cut flower food. And so this is regular flower food and it has an extra hormone in it that helps those bulbs, keeps the greenery from um, turning yellow, keeps the green shade to the greenery on it, the leaves. And this is what we put in every bouquet um, that would have a bulb in it. Daffodils, tulips, anything that comes from a bulb, this will help that plant. And so the bulb food comes in 50 quarts for $9.56 or 100 quarts for $15.96. And um, 
and that's the 20% off savings. So this is great. This could also be used for any flowers. If all you have is bulb food and you have a regular bouquet with no bulbs in it, this still has the regular flower food in it and it will work and benefit your flowers. So secondly, we have just the regular flower food. Now this is the same thing as the bulb without the hormone in it. So this we would put with every bouquet or every flowers we bring in from the garden. If it's in a vase, we're gonna have this flower food in it. This comes in a 50 pack of quartz. That's $9.56. A hundred pack of quartz is $15.96. And a hundred pints is $10.36. So these are all 20% off and um, we wanna encourage you to stock up for the summer. You are gonna need a lot of it. It really does work and it'll help keep your flowers uh, going. So next up we have the CVBN tabs. So this is where the story really starts. The CVBN tabs is a little chlorine tablet and every bucket on the farm when we go to harvest flowers gets one of these tablets to a gallon of water. And what it does is it ensures that the first drink that your cut flowers are gonna get are gonna be free of bacteria and they're gonna be able to um, take full advantage of that drink of water. So if you start with a clean container and our buckets are clean enough to drink out of, clean container, one of these chlorine tabs, and your flowers are off to a great start. Now this lasts um, up to 72 hours and usually recommend that the flowers stay in it for four hours at least, but up to 72 hours and then you wanna discard it. We normally would have our flowers in this. The next day they would be prepped to go to, a, to make a bouquet or to go to a florist and they would be moved to the next step of our little flower train. So the CVBN tabs, it comes in a bottle that has 80 in it. One bottle is $18.95, two bottles is $29.95 and it is the perfect start for every flower in your garden. So be sure to use this in your water when you're harvesting. Now the next step that we go to is the holding solution. So when we have flowers on the farm and we're, like I said, put the CVBN tab in the bucket to harvest the flowers. So next step would be, we're gonna move it to a florist. So when we, we, when we want flowers to go to a florist, we use holding solution because we don't want them to continue on. We don't want them to, um, to go further opening up. We want to, them to do that when they get to the end product, which would be the florist customer. So the holding solution is a tea bag where you just throw the whole tea bag in the bucket with a gallon of water, and it does two things. It's just like a tea bag. The flower holding solution just goes right through this little netting, and then it shows your florist that you have put something in the water when they're using their flowers. They're gonna know that you're a professional, that you took time to put this in there, you spent the money, because it really does help extend the life of the flowers. So the holding solution comes in two different sizes. The small tea bags are good for the smaller containers you might put your bouquets in to take to a farmer's market. And um, what size is that one? Let's see, this half gallon. Okay, so half gallon is the small. It's $18.95, and there are 100 tea bags in here. And then we have the gallon size, also 100 tea bags, and it's $36.95. So this really does help. It has the stuff in it that keeps the water clean, but it does not have any sugar in it or anything that's gonna make your flowers continue to open. So this is the next step um, down that road. And then you would go from there, the flower foods you would use um, to attach to a bouquet or the end user would need the flower food to put their flowers in. It does have the sugar in it, so it's gonna continue to make the, the flowers wanna open up. <clears throat> Next up, you already did the quick dip, didn't you, we didn't Susan? Pull it up. We didn't pull it up. So let's talk about the quick dip again, real quick. Um, Susie brought this up this time that the quick dip is what you use to revive your retail flowers um, when you bring them home. Also works in with garden flowers. Remember these Sorinthi were really 
just looked better after we did it. Now, some of our flower arranging friends has told a great tip. Yes, she puts a splash of this in every bucket. Two tablespoons. Yes, when she's got flowers arranging for events and it just makes them last longer and revives them. I don't, you're not gonna find this on the instructions, but the flower arranger friends that we have said she uses it all the time and loves it that way. And the buckets that I do that with that are kind of those problem crops like basil, mm -hmm. rudbeckias, some of those flowers that just seem to wilt, we just put the quick dip hydrating fluid into those harvest buckets alongside the CVBN to help prevent that from actually happening. And just be sure it's not basil that you're gonna wanna cook with or eat. Um, next up we have the shear and pouch, which I just happened to have mine on my pocket here. This is actually Lisa's pouch. Um, we love these. This is what we've used to harvest through all these years. Before and this and is what it looks like new. <laughs> and then the shears, of course, we would send you a new pair of shears. But these are wonderful. The shears are lightweight, they're spring, so they're very easy to handle. And they're not, we used to use Felcos. Felcos are big and kind of cumbersome to use. This will cut a big sunflower, it cuts woodies, and it's just really easy on your hand and it's lightweight. So this pouch, they come in a kit. So the pouch and shear kit is $60.90 and they're also available separately in the app. So if you want one or the other, you can go and search that out. So that's the pouch and the shears. Next up we have our rose stripper. So this is the great handy little tool. Lisa went out and got me some, is this camellia? Camellia. This mm -hmm. is a camellia, which this is great greenery to put in an arrangement or a bouquet or to decorate for an event. They don't really last a long time. They may drop their leaves. So it's just a nice filler for short term, but sometimes you don't need all of this. You don't want any of the leaves in the water line, right? So you would just take this, you would just put it around it, hold it, and then pull. And there you that go. That was impressive. So it, all of that, it works great for roses too to get the thorns off. You can see, you just close it and pull it down and voila, easy work. Yep, sunflowers. Yep, there's all kinds of things that will work with. So the stem stripper is $19.95 and it comes in assorted colors, but we luckily got green today in honor of St. Patrick's Day. And um, yeah, great tool to use if you're stripping a lot of stuff. All right, next up we have the Easy Arranger. So this is the Easy Arranger and it's just what it says. It's an Easy Arranger. Let me put this up here, sister, so they can see better. Give us a second to get our Wait a minute, let me move this. set going here. All right. We need Vanna White. Yeah, we do. And shout out to Kelly, our niece, who is on spring break with the family. Missing you today, Kelly. Love you. Okay. So here is our Easy Arranger, and it is exactly what it says. It makes easy work of any arrangement. Now, this is the back side of the arrangement. I just want to show you. This is what it is. You just fold it down over the edge and see what it does. You just take the flower and put it through the hole and it holds it in place. So you can take any bouquet from a grocery store or from a farmer's market and simply use it to hold your flowers where you want them to be. This is the perfect gift, perfect girlfriend gift, and, um, and we just love them. Easter and, baskets. Yeah, Easter baskets. This is, I keep these around because if someone comes over unexpectedly, I always like to give them a little gift and this is perfect. Everyone can use it. It makes an instant arranger out of anybody, and um, they're perfect. A single pack is $8.95, two pack is $15.50, and a three pack is $21.50, so that makes a great little gift to keep on hand. Um, and these flowers I picked up on the way to work this morning. We so did not grow them. We did not grow these, although there is Bupleurum, which we did grow, we do grow, but we did not grow this. So these are all just picked up from a retail on the way in and um, got a lot of green for St. Patrick's Day today. All right, next up we have the mason jar. So the mason jar lid goes, um, frog goes right on any mason jar that has a standard mouth. So it will go on the bigger one if it has the standard mouth. This is the bronze. 
<clears throat> you see how pretty that is. And then I'm gonna show you the chicken wire. Let me get a few of these out so I can show you what it looks like inside. So you can see the, the chicken wire. Is there a chicken wire one over there, sister, the blank one? Um, I had it out, I thought. Oh, here it is. Oh, it's missing and missing. So this is what the mason jar one, I mean the chicken wire one looks like. It's a little more rustic and that's the one that's on here. This is the larger jar with a standard mason jar lid. And again, just like the Easy Arranger, you just put them in the holes and they stay. It's amazing. So the thing to these is that you want to cut them the right length. Don't be afraid to cut your flowers shorter. Shorter works better in most situations um, and this just is easy work of a little bouquet and this was a bunch of individual individually sleeved flowers that i picked for about for um, saint patrick's day and i've used them i'm going to use them in a couple of things here so the mason jar lids that she's got the um you have the chicken wire one up now one pack is 8.95 two is 15.50 and three is 21.50 again a great gift to give anyone Put it on a mason jar and give somebody flowers in it and have that be part of the gift. So, it <clears throat> worked great. All right. So now, we are going to talk about the coated floral netting. This is like gentle chicken wire that is coated <clears throat> so that it doesn't rust in your container. Lisa has had this one that she's used for church flowers in here for years. And you just cut off a small piece. This is... 12 inches by 48 inches. So you just cut off a piece depending on what you need. If it's a smaller container, you don't need a big one, but you wanna ball it up so that it stays open inside so that the flowers don't move that much. And I went out of the box on my way to work. When I stopped to get flowers, I got a, a nor what is it called? A, um, tropical. This is a tropical arrangement Look at these little baby bananas. I don't know what you call them, but I love them. Some bird of paradise in here. So I'm gonna open this up and we're gonna have a go at it. And just lovely uh, camouflage looking paper. So I'm just, it's fun throwing things at your sister. <sighs> okay, so. First thing I'm gonna do is say, all right, is this the height I really want them? And I don't follow any arranging rules. There are many and things look beautiful when you do, but I think things can look beautiful when you don't. So I'm looking at this and deciding how tall I want it. And I'm gonna do what they tell you not to do. I'm just cutting them all the same length. So give me just a second, let me cut these over here. Cut some of them, I'll show you what I'm doing. I'm just cutting them. And yes, cutting things at an angle can help improve their life, but usually we're too busy to do that, so we just cut them straight and they tend to I work just they well. Fine straight, They're you know? fine. So with this, sorry guys, trying to get where we can see what I'm doing. When you stick something down in here, it's just gonna stay sticking the direction that you put it because it's going into the, the netting this is a big one. So even big stem stuff can go in here. Like sunflowers? Like sunflowers. Lisa uses this a lot. And here she comes. Here's the bird. We're going to see how big, huh? If this won't fit down in the middle, then I may have to sneak it over to the side. But still, it stays in place. All right, let's get these baby bananas And this out. is a kuba, right? That's growing in a lot of our, this is a shrub that I have growing in my yard. So look, these baby bananas, I don't know if that's what they really are, but they have just rubber banded them to two little um, posts. Stakes. Yeah, stakes. two little stakes. I'm pretty sure this will go down in there and they're gonna stay exactly where I put them. So this is fun. And then I always love when I see this, they've wrapped this around who knows how, I'm sure somebody can tell us, but not me. But I'm gonna stick this on the outside of my netting because it's too big to fit down inside of it. And again, anything that won't fit down inside, you can just stick on the edge down inside there. Let's see, do I have anything else? Yeah, here we go. Aha, this just speaks tropical, doesn't it? So that'll go in there good. 
on apple bananas. Apple bananas, yum. Huh. I just had lunch and that still makes me hungry. So, as you can see, this just makes simple work of any bouquet. And don't be afraid to cut things short. You know, you've seen it before where I've made, let's turn it around so you can see, kind of. I'm not sure what the front is gonna be here. Look at this, sister. Look how nice they drape. And I think that's a house plant. Yes, it you does know, look like a, the little, you know, what is it called? Um, I can't remember. Cast iron plant or Maybe something? Maybe so. I'm not a house plant yeah. person, but sometimes you can just borrow things. I think this guy back here is one of the fern family, too. So you can take any bouquet and make it look like a really nice arrangement and sit this on your table. No, it does not. It just has a piece that's cut. It's probably probably yeah. 18 or 24 inches and balled up and stuffed down in there. And um, But don't be afraid to cut your bouquets short. Lisa and I preach it all the time, especially on a table. You want to see who's across from you. So keeping things short, you can see over it. You can see the tops of the flowers. Um, and no better way to do that than with this. And I'll show you what I got going on here. So this is the Oasis tape. Let's see if you can see here. I think it's coming off. Okay, let me take I think this big one's just the really kind of yeah. messed it up. Okay. Yeah. So y'all are gonna see a little CPR repair job right yeah, here live. I dismantled it a little bit too. Let's just start over. All right, so this is the clear Oasis tape and the great part about it, especially on a glass dish, is that it's clear. So you just take, find the end. This is, how many feet is this, sister? 60 yards. This is 60 yards, so it's a lot of tape. I had this open And earlier. you know, you look for the end. So, you know, I love telling the story that my biggest floral com customer, florist, um, who does a lot of business, he has a girl that does nothing but sit at a table and do this, because he uses a lot of those clear glass cubes. And this is what she does all day, because this is how he does it, too. Um, and she is taping vases till she, when she gets there until she goes home every single day. So this is a great insider tip. So this just gives it a little something for your flowers to rest on so they'll stay where you put them. And I like to make them go down a little bit on the sides because the more area they have to stick to on the sides, the better they stay in place. You really can't see it because it's clear and there's flowers covering it. And I just went out and got some of Lisa's Linton Roses, which did come from our shade garden. And I'm gonna show you how to stuff them in here. And shorter seems to be the key um, for a little round container like this. Can you see the little grid I made on top? So shorter really does help. And you put these in place and they kind of lean and you just stack them in. But this is the perfect little arrangement. Lisa will probably take this in and put it on her little dining at her little um, table that she and Steve eat breakfast at, looking over the tulip magnolia tree, which is beautiful right now. So don't be afraid to cut it short. I don't know why I'm cutting it with a pair of scissors when I have my shears right here. <laughs> and um, so you can see how this just makes a beautiful little arrangement out of just a few things that I've cut and sister, don't you find that to be true? These little tools that we're using make a few flowers go far, right? Yep. Because they don't have to stuff it quite so full. So that's beautiful to sit on your table. And Thank it's you. just, the tape is just easy to use. You can use it on any container, but really glass containers, you can't see it and that's a real benefit. And it's $7.95. This is something you wanna keep in your little arranger bag. If you don't have one, make one because everybody, if you're growing flowers, you wanna enjoy them and this is a great way to do it. So next up we Wait have- Wait I wanna say something. Jesse, you are gonna love what she picked, forged from the yard to demonstrate this. So this is our little candle vase, and this just slips over a candle, and here's the little top. You put water in here, and you just slide it over the candle. It comes in a two-pack, and this is what I did with it today. So first I'll show you. It just slips right over the candle. And that's acrylic, right? It's not yeah, glass? Yeah, it's just plastic. And so, I don't know if you can see, I picked Hen bit. 
Oh, and Three clover. leaf clovers, because there were no four leaves, I couldn't find any. And henbit, which is a weed growing in the daffodils. But the blooms were so beautiful, I just hit a few of those. And then this came from the flowers that I purchased on the way in. But how cute is that with the with the three leaf clovers and the hen bit. It's just beautiful. And this again, perfect gift. It makes an arrangement out of a candlestick and it takes very few flowers. Just forage stuff in your yard. Dandelions would be beautiful in Buttercups, here. Buttercups, violas. violas, any of those little things. Um, it doesn't have to be anything big. It just makes a beautiful little arrangement out of anything. And again, a two pack is $14.95 and um, great little gift to have for anybody. So now I'm gonna show you what we use to hold the candle in place. So these are the candle grips and the candle that that was just on had a candle grip in it. And it is actually grippy on this side and spongy on this side. And it is the answer to anybody that uses candles. It's the answer to your prayer. So you just stick it in the holder, you push the candle in and whatever position you put it in it stays in if you have a big candle you just put like three or four around the edge and it'll hold those big candles in place great gift have it on hand 8.95 and this is a eight pack i think yeah. yes an eight count of these um and we use them for years and years and years so you can use them over and over so next up we have the vase brush and we conveniently have a green vase, how's that? Okay, so the vase brush is just perfect for cleaning a vase, okay? Everybody get that, you can bend this, you can get down inside where your hand can't reach and you can clean around, but it also is perfect for hummingbird feeders, for your um, humidifier, we Z use it. We use it, yes, yeah, CPACs. We use it for the fertilizer, the filtration system on the irrigation here. It just does what your hand can't do. It gets down in that little hole and you just rinse it off once you're done and let it dry. And it's some kind of a foamy plastic um, kind of material, but it really does scrub that stuff off. So the vase brush is $12.95. Of course, have one for you. Perfect gift for a friend. Next up we have I'll give you the, the craft bags. <clears throat> so this is the 12 inch craft bag. You can see we have some, is this, this Queen Anne's lace? No, that's Ami Magus. Ami Magus. Isn't that beautiful? Um, so the Ami Magus is dried and the craft bag, you see we have written on what it is. But this craft sleeve. bag, um, I mean the craft bouquet sleeve, you can put your stamp on these, you can decorate them, let your kids decorate them, but it just helps hold your flowers makes them easier to separate in a bucket. Um, it just really helps improve the, how your flowers don't get damaged either. So the craft, the 10 pack, this is the smaller one first. This is the 12 inch and it would hold a smaller bouquet or we used to do straight bunches in this. And the 12 pack, I'm sorry, the 12 inch is 10 packs, 525, 50 pack is 2195. And another great thing for kids to do for any event, birthdays, for Easter or whatever, is to decorate this to give your parent, grandparent, aunt, uncle, friend, flowers. So be sure to keep some of these on hand. It also comes in the 20 inch, and the 20 inch is 10 pack for 625, 50 pack is 24.95. So these work great, but some of the, um, some of the grocery stores that we used to sell to required that we bring them in clear plastic sleeves. And although they're not as earth friendly, they do really show the flowers a lot better. So the clear, if that's what you need, 20 inches, these are 50 pack for $29.95. And you can add color tissue paper or anything inside to make it, to help it look fun, like the one I just undid a few minutes ago, had the paper under it. So the clear just really shows the flowers a little bit better. Um, they both work great to protect the flowers. So next up, we're gonna have my sister show you all about soil blocking. And um, you tell me when you're ready me to again, you take it down. Um, so yeah, let me, um, I wanna just show some of these seedlings first before we soil block. So she's coming back. Yep, I'm coming back, y'all. 
So, you know, this we are in high cotton around here seed starting. And so I want to show you the one, the size blocker that I use most often, that is my recommendation for everybody to start with, right? Um, and so I just brought a couple of trays in. This is um, Lombata Minarda, which is um, a cool season hardy annual, but you can actually start and get that planted now. It'll do really well. Um, but this is 60 plants on this little six by 11 or so tray, ready to go to the garden, y'all. That means you can start a lot of plants in a really small space, and it grows incredibly healthy and happy transplants. This is Cress, um, another green flower, and this is our little mini tray that holds 20 plants. So, soil blocking not only grows great seedlings, but for those of us like me that don't have a greenhouse, soil blocking made it possible for me to start a lot in a little space, whether that's in on top of your clothes dryer to start your little veggie garden or a bigger space if you're a flower farmer. All right. Hurry up. All right. So, let's go down, sister. So, we're going to make some soil blocks here. She's going to bring the camera down. So, this is blocking mix. Um, and we sell the ready-made, and we also have the recipe for you to DIY it at home. It's always on our website, and it's pretty moist. Um, that's, do you want me to move over to you, or? No. Okay, I mean, where, where am I, do I need to be? You're Sorry, y'all. You're fine. Okay, so I'm just pushing the blocker down into the moistened blocking mix a couple of times. The reason we use blocking mix is we want this to bind and hold together, basically the complete opposite of what most other seed starting mixes. This is the mini size tray, and I'm just placing the blocker on it and giving a little push, and there they are. They're quick and easy um, to actually make, and I use this size blocker most of the time. Um, unless the seed is just too big to actually fit in there. And now I'm gonna sew, let's just show this. These are, um, this is the aluminum seed pan that has no static electricity. And I, I, what? Move it forward so they can see, there you go. So I just touched my toothpick to the seed and because there's no static, it just hopped right on. And then I am literally just firmly placing it on the surface of each block, but I'm making sure that it's firmly seated, right? And that's how I sow tiny seeds. And if you're not doing it under a camera with your sister standing on a step stool, <laughs> balancing, it goes a lot quicker than We're this We're done because my hand hurts. <laughs> All right, yep, there you go. So that is how we actually sow the seeds. So soil blocking is super quick and easy. And I have a lot of different ways that it's available. Let's go back up, yeah, so this is too much. Um, all right, so we miss Kelly so much. <laughs> all right, y'all, it takes four people to do this show. <laughs> and we're missing one today. And we, it always is nice when you Absence makes the heart grow fonder. All right, so first up, Suzanne's gonna hand me um, the Soil Block Maker Kit. And that has everything you need to start making soil blocks, okay? So the Soil Block Maker Kit comes with the small blocker, which you just saw me demo, right? Includes that. It comes with um, five of these, what we call large trays. This holds three sets of 20. So just like that first tray I showed you, it has five of this. And y'all, these are foam trays, but they are reusable for years. These are not meant to be disposable. So it has the trays. It has that static-free um, aluminum seed pan. It has our little tooth pack, um, toothpick dispenser and toothpicks. It has plant um, markers, these little wooden plant markers, and it comes with three free packs of seeds. Either, your choice, you select at checkout. It either comes with the cool season hardy annual seeds or it comes with warm season tender annual seeds. Plus, there's more y'all, plus it comes with my seed starting made easy see, um, course, which is about 116 or 15 minutes long, I think. I take you through the whole process as well as teaching you how to um, 
start seeds out in the garden, to sow seeds straight in the garden. So it has the course, which you have lifetime unlimited access, and then it comes with the ready-made mix. This bag of mix will make about 500 of those little small soil. So this kit is $89.95, shipping is $9.95, um, and you get everything you need to actually start soil blocking. Oh, good. That's a great question. Um, so this for Minarda, these are four weeks old. And this crest is actually the same. And so I'm always looking for a three to five inch seedling to get it outside into the garden. And I also want to see a kind of a vibrant, happy, healthy seedling. But sometimes they're struggling in the tray because they really need to be planted outside. So you have to be kind of a super sleuth if you're having that kind of problem but three to five inches is what we're looking for. Now, if you don't need the kit, we do sell the blocker individually. This is $39.95, um, and that is the, the tw a cluster of 23 quarter inch block sizes. So, now I'm telling you about this because the two inch blocker, which is on, you know, where you have to get on the wait list, but friends, our order is being picked up in England as we speak, and they're gonna be jetting across the ocean. So they'll be here, we don't know exactly when yet, but it's in the coming days. And so if you wanna be notified when the two inch blocker is back in stock, sister, hand me one of those eucalyptus trays. Um, and let me show you why, because the I just wanna show you my beautiful eucalyptus babies. They are in the two inch block. And so that is, this is polyanthemus, um, and this is um, parvula gum. Totally love, eucalyptus is a super slow grower, so get on that wait list. Now we also offer the ready-made mix by itself. That is $15.95, and again, this bag will make about 500 of those small um, size blocks. This is Fort V Vermont compost. We sift, we recommend that you sift it before it's used um, for actually making soil blocks. I sift all blocking mix before we actually use it. And I'll tell you, Jim said he started blocking at the age of 77 and it's changed his life. Uh, you know, isn't it not, it's like, where has it been all your life? Is that the way you felt, Jim? I mean, I experienced that myself after failure and hear that from folks often. All right, this is the ready, this is the soil set, sorry y'all. This is the soil set. This has what you need to make your own soil that you add to your ingredients at home. This is the sifter, which fits perfectly on top of a five gallon bucket, so you can sift your compost, peat moss, or your ready-made mix. It comes with the seed pan. It comes with a pack of our toothpicks with the toothpick dispenser. It also includes the fungus gnat fighting kit. It has the sticky traps and the mosquito bits, um, which you put into your watering can, the mosquito bits. Um, to it's a larvicide that kills the larvae that are living in the moist soil that are hatching out those um, flying gnats. So that's in here. Plus, this has the DIY nutrient that you add your peat moss or, co or cocoa fiber and compost to. Um, it's a powder, and this will make about six recipes, and a recipe is about the equivalent of the ready-made bag. It's about 20 to 25 cups, um, and so it has everything you need to make your soil blocks and then to maintain those soil blocks um, before the, as they go to the garden. All right, again here, let's talk about those reusable trays. Look at this, y'all. This is one of those trays Bobo has written on all these different spots. Um, these foam trays are really reusable and we don't intend for you to dispose of them. This is the mini. It holds 20 of those little three quarter inch blocks. It comes in a five pack and a 25 pack, $1.95 or $6.95. It then comes with what we call the small. This holds two clusters of 20 in a mini and, um, I'm sorry, in a small, in a five pack or a 25 pack. Five pack is $2.95, the 25 pack is $12.95, and here's those larger ones that hold three sets. 
um, that come in a five pack for $3.95 or a large pack for $15.95. And y'all, I use every single one of these. I use cafeteria trays, I use our green trays, and we use these. It's really important to use the proper size tray. Now, another really important step, you know, we're talking about seed starting all the time now, right? Because we're, we're in high cotton and seed starting till October. This is the seedling heat mat, which is part of the story, right? Most seeds germinate best in warm soil. To warm the soil to 75 to 85 degrees, you have to have a seedling heat mat. You plug it in. It has a built-in thermostat that operates off of the air temperature, um, and that does a really good job of your seedlings sprouting quickly, and um, uh, they grow really quickly, and that's kind of what the point is, right? So burlap, the reason I use burlap is I lay this on top of my soil blocks when they're on the heat mat to help those surface sown seeds like this. Um, I mean, literally, that's just what we do. And I take it off in the morning to water and then I put it back on. But once I see the signs of life, um, any sprouts coming, I take the burlap off because it will pop through the holes. The burlap helps the surface to retain moisture comes in a one pack for $3.95 or a three pack for $9.95. Three foot square. Three foot square, right, 36 inches. Y'all, we just brought this back. This is the kitchen compost bucket. Totally love this. Has a lid that just seals pretty tightly. Um, and keep that under the kitchen sink. And this is where I put all my vegetable, um, you know, that I'm chopping up. I'm chopping, making, we make, have salads for lunch every day. Any scraps just go right into the bucket and then it goes out to our compost heap. And y'all, this is the time of the year for slugs, slug X. Why do I use this instead of a saucer? Two reasons. One, I have a golden retriever that eats the slugs. I can't get this out. And the other reason is um, when you put, um, it's beer. And according to Cornell University, Pabst Blue Ribbon is the preferred brand of slugs. And that is because it has more yeast. So by having this that has a top, you fill the wells with the beer, which attracts the slugs, and then they drink it and drown and die. It has a top, so it protects it from rain, but it also allows me to put a um, cinder block on top of it to keep my golden retriever from eating pickled slugs. Totally love that. That is a great thing to have in your shade garden or wherever you're fighting slugs. All right. It's the giveaway. This is next? No, it's coming Oh. Reminder, friends, if you want to be entered for the $25 giveaway, hit the buy button now. You're not buying anything, but that puts you on the list to get, um, to be drawn, to be one of the lucky, to be the lucky person drawn from that list, right? Is this next? No. Okay. So what is next? Where, I'm sorry, y'all. Graphs, yes, that's a clues. Oh, all right, friends. Remember about storing your seeds properly, cool and dry, and these desiccants help you to do that. They come in a two-pack for $2.95. You just put this in the container with whatever you're storing your seed packs in, um, and it absorbs moisture, and you can get a 10-pack for $9.95. <clears throat> all right, now, so, now we're going to do all of my seeds, and First, we're gonna start off with vegetables. And friends, if you haven't tried out, this is our vegetable planner, slide rule kind of thing. See that red line? You just slide that to your first and last frost date, for last on the back, first on the front. And it tells you when to start your seeds for vegetables, when to plant them outside. Um, this is really amazing, pretty incredibly useful. It slides, you move this to your date. This is $5.95 and just really makes it simple to know when and um, when it's too late and when it's too early to start your stuff. Now, we um, have a bunch of green vegetables and I'm just gonna run through them, y'all. This is the Dolor chives, the Dolores variety. And, you know, I mean, who doesn't wanna garnish with that, right? Then we have parsley. This is the flat variety of parsley which was my mother-in-law's favorite. And then we have curly parsley, which is what, um, oh, wait a minute. Did I mess up? No, that's all right, we're just nope, missing one. They stuck together. Stuck together. This is the flat parsley. 
And then if you like the curly, there's also a curly variety. These are all cool season stuff that would be growing great right now. So this is cilantro, which seems to be the herb of the century. People love that stuff, right? And then we have arugula, which is great in big containers. I also grow this, the greens mix, in the big containers. And when I say big, that's like a half whiskey barrel size. And then y'all, Swiss chard. Not only is this gorgeous as a foliage, but it's delicious and it's beautiful in containers. And we love, this is our favorite kale. It's called Black Magic. It's all lumpy, but it just, it is so full of vibrant flavor. This is um, broccoli. And who doesn't love broccoli from the garden, y'all? I mean, if you wanna get a kid to eat broccoli, let them grow some, right? And then my peas out in the garden are about this tall. This is the Bistro Shelling Pea. Then we have basil. We'll keep right on going, y'all, running out of time. This is Jedi, the, our favorite jalapeno. And then whoever has enough zucchini, nobody ever. And then this is the bean. We grow about a hundred foot bed of these every single year, the provider bean. Direct sow those in the garden. And then this is the ornamental kale, which is for cutting. And this is something you'd start midsummer for fall harvest. And friends, who doesn't love Bells of Ireland? Green is in, Buplurum, Carthamus, which is better than safflower. This is Persian Crest. And you can find all these in the app. If she's going too fast, just make a note and you can go find them. Or you can come back to the show afterwards and hit that shop all on the replay and go right to them and it'll take you right to them. This is Atroplex. Look Love at those seed that. heads. Yeah, this is so beautiful. This is Ami Magus. I'm sorry, I, it's Ami Green Mist. Then look at this, Green Pods on Love and a Mist. Love that one, Green Marbles. Giant poppy pods, we just thinned our poppies yesterday. And that's, the pods are huge, y'all. These are great fresh. And then eucalyptus, I already showed you some eucalyptus babies. This is the silver dollar, which is in stock, and the polyanthemus. Love how dangly those leaves are. And then, you know, we grow the sun-filled sunflower for the foliage, that bud, not the flower. The flower's cool too, but has a great bud. And then of course, you know, we grow tons of lemon and cinnamon basil and we've mixed it together for you. Hairy balls, Gumpacarpus physicarpus. This is a great late summer bloomer for pollinators and great for your bouquets. And look at that love in a puff. That really hydrates well on the vine. And frosted explosion, look how beautiful that is. And look at this grass, green drops. These are all so valuable as cuts at the end of the summer and going into fall. This is the limelight millet. Green tails, amaranth. Oh my gosh, and here's my favorite, the gourd. Sorry I'm going so fast, y'all. Sylphid, which is kind of white green. That's a celosia. Plume, love it, and then here's also Sunday Celosia's version of green. And then here, there's a real green. This is Act Green, and that's a single stem, which is really beautiful. And there's another one that I grow, and that is Spring Green, love that one. And then I'm gonna finish it off with what is everybody's favorite, green zinnias, y'all. This is the best green zinnia, Benary's Lime. This is queen lime, and she's just smaller. Great to have variation. And then we have the lime blotch, queen zinnia. And then you can get the lime, um, the queen lime mix that has all those in there. Sorry, y'all. We um, took too long today, didn't we? So, as I said earlier, you can come back and watch the replay. Um, hit that um, shop all and go right to the seeds if you need help finding them. They're all available here in the app. 
So remember that over on our big website, thegardenersworkshop.com, you're going to find lots of videos, blogs, podcasts, and just I'll get, sign up for our farm news. Um, and you can check out both of our podcasts, Field and Garden and Seed Talk with Lisa and Lane. Yesterday's episode for Seed Talk was green, three green cool flower fillers for added texture and interest. So that's a really great one. And guess what? We have a guest host this week for Ask a Flower Farmer, and that is Daniel Shavy of Petal Pickers. Um, Daniel will be hosting the Ask a Flower Farmer this week. And um, so check that out. That's Wednesdays at 1230 Eastern Time. And remember to meet us back next week. Um, on Friday right here for the live show and next week it's early season sunflowers you do not want to miss that and so friends guess what we have a winner and I hope you're here hope you're here everybody ready cha-ching cha-ching Amy Oliver you are the winner of a $25 store credit and I love giving this. So, Amy, if you're here, give us a big shout out here inside um, on the comments. And then we will, Jesse, I think, is the one putting it into your actual cart. Um, so, congratulations. And now I'm going to do a couple of questions and then we'll wrap it right up, right? So, here's a good question. How long do you store flower food? And once you mix with water, how long can you store water without flowers in it? Those are two really great questions. So the flower, oh good, congratulations, Amy. So when you go to check out, there should be a $25 credit on your in your cart. If for some reason, because Kelly isn't here, but I'm pretty sure Jesse's doing it, um, it's not there, just reach out to us on info at thegardenersworkshop.com, but it'll be there. And congratulations, so glad you're here. So you can store cut flower food inside, cool and dry, in the packet, indefinitely. I mean, it, it was just pretty much sealed, right? So you're good to go as long as, you know, if you're keeping it indoors. Um, and then once you mix it with water, how long can you store it without food, without flowers in it? I mean, no more than a couple of days. You know, I mean, it's like that it's aging, right? And stuff grows in water even when it has chemicals in it. So I would not do that. I mean, if you... We mix a bunch in the morning. We use it during the day to put the flowers in. You'll just lose the effectiveness. Um, so quick dip, two tablespoons, two tablespoons per how much water in the harvest buckets. All of our harvest buckets get one measured gallon of water. Um, and so we put two tablespoons into those buckets, like basil and um, rebecca and those types of things. So I'll take one last question. Do you harden off cool, hardy annuals or not since using row covers the first two weeks? That's a great question too. So what she's asking, do you do I harden them off out in my hardening off area? Um, and I would just wanna just give a little plug again about the club. I love doing this month's master class so much that it's longer than it was supposed to be. I talk about my hardening off area outside. Um, and so the question is, do I bring cool flowers out of the, the room, the grow room, and put them on the carport, or do they go straight to the garden? And I can do them both ways. With cool season hardy annuals, we'd never do this with warm season, right? Um, and so if I'm going to hoop and cover out in the garden, I can skip the carport if need be. Um, so it just really depends on our circumstances. So I hope that answers your questions. Um, and friends, I look forward to seeing you next week. I look forward to seeing you Wednesday with Daniel and then also back here next Friday for us to talk early bird sunflowers, right? All right, friends, till we meet again.